Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now I've got a film review and it's a film uh, watched on telly so I haven't got the box and it's called Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Now Rise of the Planet of the Apes is pretty much in the same league as the same franchise yeah. you know, with all the apes and the planet and all that sort of stuff. However this is kind of the uh, the start, it's the original, um, it's how the whole planet became overrun by apes. Um, whether it's a prequel to the original um, sort of films back in the day, not quite sure. I think they've rebooted it ever since Mark Wahlberg decided to uh, become an astronaut and crash land on Earth again. But this is the 2011 version, but you got James Franco in it. Frida Pinto, got Tom Felton, and uh, for some reason Andy Serkis keeps getting cushy jobs of pulling faces, and he's in it as well. But uh, James Franco, he's the main guy, he works at a company called Genesis, and Genesis are a company of um, biotechnology sort of scientists, and they are trying to create a cure for Alzheimer's. Great stuff. Um, this is where they all test it on monkeys and I, on apes. One of the apes has a bit of an accident and decide to uh, protect its baby but you didn't know it was a baby and they go out and uh, kind of runs amok throughout um, Genesis. This is where the ape gets put down. Bad timing really because you know, board members are there saying you know this is a great idea you know you've got a cure for Alzheimer's then a monkey goes fucking ape shit everywhere and uh, yeah kind of ruins the whole cure for Alzheimer's. So this is where all the monkeys get put down, however they discover a baby monkey. The mother was only protecting its baby and uh, of course they didn't know that. This is where James Franco takes the baby home and uh, nurtures it, raises it, brings it up as a, uh, as a baby. You know, as a baby ape, brings it up into the world. It doesn't want the baby to die. And because the baby was born with with the cure for Alzheimer's already in its body, in its system. So as the film progresses in the early stages, you see the baby ape. Uh, you see it develop into a you know growth. Really, this is where the ape gets uh, smarter, gets clever, um, more stronger. It's got the cure for Alzheimer's inside its body. So James Franco knows that this baby must be kept alive. Uh, to nurture and to be kept alive really. Um, this could be the cure for Alzheimer's and the cure for many other diseases um, that are plaguing the world. The baby as well um, has a famous name. The name that uh, James Franco decides to give to the baby ape was uh, Caesar. However, Caesar one day um, attacks a neighbour. The reason why Caesar attacks the neighbour is because James Franco's dad is uh, is unwell. He has Alzheimer's himself, and he goes out and uh, test drives the neighbor's car without his permission. Uh, this is where Caesar sees the neighbor attacking James Franco's dad. He sees him go out and attack his dad, and this is where Caesar goes mad. He escapes the house and he attacks the neighbor. Sad, really, because Caesar gets taken off uh, James Franco. He gets put into a gorilla home and this is this is the part where the ape uh, Caesar decides to uh, become a leader he becomes the leader of the other apes that are in uh, in the habitat in the sanctuary of um, the confinement this is where Tom Felton is a keeper almost of the apes he uh, is the security to the apes uh, make sure that they can't get out. They are mistreated, which is a shame, you know. Tom Felton does manage to say the one famous line that has stayed throughout um, every Planet of the Apes film as to what I know of, and that is, get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape. Caesar talks as well. He, uh, he mutters a few words. He does lead all the monkeys to freedom, really, and there's a big blowout war. Uh, this obviously leads up to Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, bit of a silly title but James Franco is a cool uh, sort of scientist Caesar you know he's uh, he's a good leader it's not a bad film um, if you like the whole planet of the apes and you don't want to see the Mark Wahlberg version or you don't want to go back to the 70s and watch Charlton Heston walking around with his shirt off and you want to see the new one then uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes is probably a good start for you really but somehow Andy Serkis keeps getting these jobs where he gets balls put on his face and 
motion capture and all that sort of crap so he's having an easy cushy life of pulling faces it's not a bad film it's all about monkeys caesar's the leader and he gets smarter and smarter he also gives the uh alz 112 cure of alzheimer's to other monkeys who are locked in the quarantine where each one gets smarter and clever um it would be good i think to watch dawn of the planet of the apes just to see what happens with Caesar and the other monkeys. There's a massive fight in San Francisco, so that's interesting to see. Um, I kind of get to the point where it's like, what's this, you know, how how can monkeys take over? But, you know, apparently they do in the film world of uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. There's also a, um, a sickness bug that goes around. One of the scientists at uh, Genesis, where James Franco works, he gets a bit ill, he starts sneezing blood. There's a view of him in his apartment face down um, so he's obviously died and the neighbour's a pilot and he seems to transfer the illness around the world so what that uh, illness is it's I don't know where it's come from it's in the film what it's called it it doesn't really focus on it however I think they focus more on that on Dawn of the Planet of the Apes but it's not a bad film it's enjoyable it's watchable James Franco pretty cool of an actor anyway Frida Printo, she is the eye candy of the film. Tom Felton, uh, he's a bit of a prick in it. He also mistreats the monkeys, but he gets his comeuppance. Yeah, it's alright. Andy Circus has got dots all on his face with motion capture. How he gets jobs, I don't know. But, you know, anyone can put dots on the face and pull some you know, angry monkey faces. And he gets away with it and gets paid lots of money. But... Rise of the Planet of the Apes, not too bad of a film. If you're a James Franco fan, Frida Pinto fan, Tom Felton fan, um, if you want to see a bunch of monkeys get smarter than Rise of the Planet of the Apes, is definitely one for you. Also guys, we the devoted, links down below as per usual, go check them out. Awesome gear coming out very, very soon. Use TWWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items you decide to buy. However, links are down below as per usual, go check them out. But guys, Thanks for watching my review of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. If you're a big monkey fan, then this is definitely one for you. Thanks for watching. Thank you. And uh, yeah.